In the wild, horses roam across grasslands and graze constantly throughout the day. Their domestic cousins live very different lives and no matter how much we care for them, this can cause problems. Modern practices like stabling, travel, exercise and intermittent feeding can lead to gastritis and gastric ulceration, a widespread and very painful condition. Ulcers are caused by a buildup of acids in the lower part of the stomach, the glandular mucosa. The stomach wall here is usually protected by a lining of mucus, but a reduction in its natural defences can lead to glandular ulcers. Or if these acids reach the upper section of the stomach, the squamous mucosa, they can breach its unprotected lining and leave the raw tissues beneath bathed in caustic acid, causing widespread squamous ulceration. For wild horses, this isn't such a problem because frequent grazing produces a near constant supply of food, fibre and saliva that helps to dilute the stomach acid. Domesticated feeding habits result in reduced fibre intake, reduced saliva production and the creation of more acid caused by fermentation of the starch present in many feeds. What can owners do to avoid this? Make sure your horse eats little and often, and feed plenty of forage. A horse left without forage for over six hours is four times more likely to develop glandular stomach ulcers. Never exercise your horse vigorously on an empty stomach. Those stomach acids will splash around, particularly when jumping, and attack the horse's stomach lining. Take extra care when your horse is on anti-inflammatories, as they are shown to reduce the production of mucus, which is an important barrier against acid. Keep your horse company. Stress, associated with lack of companionship, can affect their appetite and lead to hormonal changes, which may compromise the stomach lining. Know your horse. Some put on a brave face when they are in pain, so you'll need to look for other symptoms. Be aware of any changes in appetite, mood, for example, resentment of girthing, or performance. Take these simple steps to keep your horse happy, healthy, and ulcer-free. 